Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you tonight. One of our guests is the best conversationalist I have ever met. You can trust me on that. He is the literal definition of jack of all trades. I first met him as a cab driver. I let him tell us all about the other things he's doing. He's a gentleman you can listen to all day. And I can't, I couldn't personally, personally I couldn't wait actually to have him on our show. I'll have to leave the intro at that uh, for now because he is coming up in a bit. Jacob David Waidaka is in the house. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sana. Also in studio is a friend of the show. He has been vetted by Kenyans and certified as one of the best <laughs> comedians the 254 has ever produced. Here for the second time, the hilarious brother to one, Timo Njero. Smart Joker is in the house. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Asante ni sana. Before we get to that part of the show, uh, so much to talk about. One of the most interesting being uh, this video of how Daktari blue ticked a meat trader from Kiamaiko. <laughs> For real, this is how hard it is to meet the deputy president. For real, uh, haters have claimed that the DP may have ignored the goat because hakuna uh, because uh, kuna mbuzi zingine uli akama kondo. Yeah, ba ba. Alafu kiskiza vizuri ina kuwa ba na unajua vile ruto askiza nangi na ba ba. <laughs> yes. yes. Now, um, in other news, a thief broke into a church in Engineer Town, here in Nyandarwa County, uh, to steal, but he found nothing. So he left an apology letter. <laughs> For real. It's a very weird letter. It reads, uh, Dear my fellow Christians. Exactly. Even though it's, uh, Dear my fellow Christians. First and foremost, good morning. <laughs> How courteous. Then he continues, I was sent here by one of your, your fellow Christians who told me that the amount of money has been kept inside the church, but I got nothing. God bless you all and pray for me. Thanks. The thief left a prayer request. When the watchman was asked about the incident, akasema, unajoi maati kwa Jehovah atarudi kama muizi? Sasa niliposikia mabati imepasuka nikajua bas. <laughs> the thief, on the other hand, claimed uh, in the letter that he was tipped off uh, about the money by a fellow Christian. Uh, we suspect it was a choir member. <laughs> and it may not have been direct, that it was probably through a song. Wapedwa, kuna kitu leo nyubani mwababa. I tell you, there is something in the house of the Lord. Naoba munisaidia hapo kwa kuiba. Now, houseflies have unofficially been adopted as dom domestic animals in Kenya following the expose by NTV's Dennis Okari titled Red Alert, detailing how unscrupulous traders use chemicals to preserve meat at the expense of unsuspecting Kenyans. <laughs> Meat naturally should attract flies if it's in a rural area, say. But if it doesn't, it means something is just not right. So, there are meat traders that use sodium bisulfate to preserve meat. For those who don't know, hiyo ni kama filter ya nyama. Inafanya nyama isizeke. And ideally, uh, the most reliable way to tell whether the meat is good for human consumption, uh, there has to be houseflies. Like, ukiona nzi, unajua nyama iko? Yes. So nzi ni kama bila wasio nasema kwa social media nzi imekuwa ni kama kebs ya nyama. 
as in uh, th that's serious unaona vile watu angalia uh, kama noti iko na simba yes sasa hii kwa Kenya lazima uangalie kama nyama iko na nzi ndio ujue kama iko sawa in fact as we speak after that story aired kuna watu wanatembea na nzi zao personal zenye zenye wamefuga za kuvet nyama ndo anakuja kwa bucha anaachilia nzi hawagua na muniagalilie kama hiyo kuota iko sawa Uki, ukiachilia enzi zako alafu uone enzi zinafanya mm. Una... <laughs> hey, sorry. Ukiona nzi zimekuambia kata hiyo story hiyo siku unakula mboga. So uh enzi sai house flies is to meet what DJ Pinye of the beat was to the music industry. Hakikata ngoma yako unaanzisha omoloina sako maisha inaendelea. You can get the full uh, red alert documentary on YouTube but to get an idea of how dangerous this kind of meat is when these people the people who are handling the chemicals when you're naikia watu kwa nyama when they are handling the chemicals they have to wear gloves for their own safety one of the gloves hii chemicali inadhurupia mikono aswa kama uko na mali umekatwa hivi eh inakuwa ni shida na hiyo ni kitu wasewa na fawasosi and as revealed in the documentary This preservative is not only used in meat. Kuna watu wanaitumia mpaka kwa chipo. That's how unsafe our food is. Let us now understand why watoto wa ghetto kula chipo na protection. For real. <laughs> hey, unajua. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. The subject of our show tonight looks at this from a wider scope. For real. We need to look at this this concept at a wider scope. Na fact tuifungue kidogo. Just how far are people willing to go to make a profit? You remember the bread scandal? That ile scandal ya consumers complained that bread weighed 40 grams less. Ikiwa ni 400 grams ile kawaida ya mkate, sasa inapata unapima unapata ni 360. Ukifanya mathematics that's the equivalent of one full loaf of bread in every 10 loaves of bread. As in ukibai mkate kumi, kuna mtu amepata profit ya moja. Mmesikia hizo stories zote za gedhurai unafungiwa miwa imechongwa vizuri kwa jua lao ukifika kwa nyumba unapata ni waru. <laughs> We can give examples of such all night. Na najua kila mtu atapa where you are watching from home umewahi gongwa ama unajua mtu amai gongwa. Please share with us uh, any other incidents that have, have ever made you feel like you've been taken advantage of. I love to hear your experiences or someone the experience of someone you know. Lakini tusionewa sewa gedhurai. Use hashtag the wicked edition my handles are Dr. Underscore Kingori on Twitter and Instagram. Dr. Kingori on Facebook. That's Dr. Kingori. Let's extend this conversation to the second part of the show with our guest for tonight, Smart Joker and Mr. Jacob David Waidaka to break this down even further. Indomie, Kenya's most loved noodles. Rahisi na haraka kuitayarisha. Kwa dakika tatu pata mlo mtamu. Chicken flavor flavor utapenda Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori and like I promised we have a great show lined up for you. Hata sitashinda time nikiongea vitu moba. But first of all, give it up for our guests, Smart Joker and Jacob David Waidaka. Asante. Asante sana. Asante sana. Ah, uko salama? Kabisa. Eh, Jacob David Waidaka tulikutana na yeye kwa kwa cab. Na wale wasi wanani follow, kuna clip yake nilishare ilikuwa poa sana. Alinipigia story poa sana. Yeah, to, to target to that. Uh, Smart Joker, like I said, is a friend of the show. But tukianza na wewe, Jacob. Yeah. Umesikia hiyo mambo ya nyama. Imekuwa ni hivyo. Imekuwa ni hivyo. Hakuna uongo iko hapo. Umekula nyama mwisho lini? Nimekula hata leo. <laughs> 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 na unasikia je ukiona story kama hiyo ya mtu ana? Nasikia ni kama ni yape tu. Eh? Nasikia ni yape tu niseme sitakula tena milele. <laughs> Au utakula nyama milele? Smarti wewe umekula nyama mwisho lini? Mimi nimekula leo samaki. 
Si badru ni nyama ya samaki. Eti? Si badru ni nyama ya samaki. Ah pana sijaona sikiri ya samaki but nimesikia samaki siku hizi kuna mpaka ya plastic. Sasa ukikula unaburutana na hii. Hapana <laughs> ni hao watu wa biashara. Paka idarusha supu inaangukia mtoto. Pacha. Eh sasa yes. eh, watu wanasema watu wanatumia njia mingi sana za kutengeneza biashara. Mm. Wewe kwanza nimekutaka sana ukamkwaisho leo mm. kwa sababu angoli yako ya mkenya wa kawaida unajua saa nyingine ukikula kitu ama ukibuy food kwa barabara mm. haujuangi imetoka wapi yes. unasikiaje ukisikia story ya mm. mtu amekudungia unajua sodium sulfite nilikuwa naisomea tu kwa shule uh-huh. wakati wa chemistry oh ulisoma chemistry mm. mm-hmm. initials zake zilikuwa <laughs> <laughs> sodium by Sile unit sodium eh, N, eh. Eh Sasa unajua Waidaka unakumbuka initials za chemistry. Sasa kumbuka vizuri. Eh yes. Ilikuwa mbaya kwa chemistry. Ilikuwa subject yako poa ilikuwa gani? Ilikuwa CLI. Before ufanye taxi sasa hivi uko unafanya biashara gani? kabla ya kufanya taksi ni kwa food wa bau. Mm. Smart wewe unafanya biashara yote? Eh nafanyanga. Other than comedy. Yeah. Na biashara yako ni gani labda unaweza sema? Siwezi nikaeleza. <laughs> <laughs> o biashara yako ni private haifanyi eh, wangi marketing. Biashara nyeti ni hapa na pale tu. <laughs> eh na, na sasa yeah. tukiongea story kama ya wase wana wana reduce size ya mkate ndio watengeneze pesa mob e, unauzi wa miwa unaenda unapata ni waru mm. unauzi wa kitu unapata sio hiyo mm. umain mimi m- najua story ya mtu ambaye ununua CD blank mm. kwa bara unauzi wa kama album ya sauti sol mm. unafika unapata aina kitu unapata iko tu na wimbo moja ya ethics <laughs> <laughs> umai gongwa kwanza eh hey, unagongwa kwanza waacha tu mimi mwenyewe ni maiji konga kwa nyumba <laughs> Yaani nikanunua hiyo nini miwa wakanikatakatia vizuri. Kwenda kwa nyumba nimewekelea hapo, sinikulange kitoko, nikichonga waru na ndizi ndio nikaranga. Nika confuse nikachukua miwa nikakaraka. <laughs> na hapo kwa kutafuta pesa I think moment dakika moja smart joka move on ni uchungu. <laughs> <laughs> e, sasa kuna Karura taxi ya Karura e, na hii taxi nyingine. Hii taxi ya application. Taxi ya application mm. ilikuwa na complaint flani ya mm. pesa ni kidogo mm. kama unaweza toka hapa upeleke mtu Mombasa na 200. Mm. I don't know mm. nasema tu. For example hiyo mm. ni example. Fare ya Mombasa inaweza kuwa 200 na taxi mm. ya application. Lakini sasa kuna time watu wa taxi tuli, waliambiwa ati wanajua kucheza na hiyo application mm. fare ya taxi na kuwa kama ya ndege. Hiyo mm. ilikuwa ukweli. Hiyo ni kweli. Eh. Yeah. Alafu kuliendaji watu walitengeneza pesa na hiyo na mbona watu wanaenda on strike kama wanaweza tengeneza pesa na njia zingine. Unajua unajua hii kitu kitu imetengenezwa na mwanadamu. Lazima okay. ajue dawa yake. Wewe unatengeneza kufuri na bado kuna ingine inaitwa mastaki ya kuifugua. Yes. Kwa hivyo hii kitu sawa sawa sana sana nyinyi vijana mnajua tu kuchokora hizi simu sana. Sasa ilikuwa na vinywa pahali <laughs> inakuwa asimu hata hiyo ni kilomita gapi imetebea eh lakini customer wenyewe bado naweza raumu pia sababu wewe ukiangalia yako sinakuambia ni kilomita gapi uh-huh. umeenda yes na unajua tu kilomita gapi ndio approximate pesa fulani si inakuambia for example eh, 20 20 shillings per kilometer wewe ukiona inakuambia umeenda kilomita 16 aha from town to umoja inaweza kuwa kilomita 16 basi sasa you know that style uli arise kuna shida basi sasa kama application inakuambia unafauli pe tuseme kama so sita for example mm-hmm. na wewe ulikuwa unajua unafaa kulipa 200 but application inakuambia unafaa kulipa 600 kuna kitu unaweza fanya mm-hmm. una report kwa wao ah. nimebebwa na mtu fulani hebu agarieni hapo wao wenyewe wataona kweli hapa kuna shida haya hiyo ni rahisi sana mm-hmm. sasa narudi kwa hizi mambo zingine zenye zina affect kila mtu story ya a nyama mi bado niko hapo kwa unasikiaje ukisikia nyama imekwa sodium bisulfite baya kabisa 
lakini mm-hmm. kuna kitu moja na jaribu kufikiria kulaumu mimi nasikia Kenya kuna kitu inaitwa Kenya Bureau of Standard vitu kama hizo na katika kwa serikali yetu hapo acha niingie waze mm-hmm. katika serikali yetu hakuna section haina haina mtu ama minister ama mtu yote wa kuchughulikia vitu fulani eh yeah. si agalia hiyo dio tukimuliza swali hapa inaendeleaje atatuambia hiyo kitu siji inaitwaje na jina kubwa hiyo hiyo dawa inawekwa hapo hata sikuvuki sodium sodium by sulfur hiyo so, sodium by something ikiwekwa <laughs> sasa yes. mimi hata nikidadanyo niambiwa ati sasa ina inasuiria insi sikuje yes si nitakubali tu lakini Kenya kuna wale watu expert wa hizo vitu kitu yes. ikija Kenya kama ni kitu inatoka huko Ulaya ama kuingine inakaguliwa vizuri yes inaangaliwa hii kitu ni sawa hii kitu ni sawa hii kitu ni nzuri kwa kwa mwanadamu yes. sawa mbona inapita tu mpaka ni kama kutoa buduki Somalia ina, inakuja mpaka Kaliobagi dip buduki wote ilipitia wapi <laughs> ni ukweli hmm? that's a very very valid point ni poa sana smarty yes unasikia hiyo story eh yeah, nasikia hiyo story unajua zodi ya mnichumbi by salvet by salvet radio chemical sasa ni wametweka chumbi in advance oh ndio ukipiga nyama eh alafu nimependa vile tennis anaitwa tennis okari yes vile ana na rate na emotion paka unaweza furai tu mtu akupe nyama ukula alafu uteremshe na hiyo chemical ama i package be interesting vizuri <laughs> Now, by the way your chemical just a point of correction mm. it was sodium metabisulfite mm. nime confuse sodium mm. metabisulfite mm. na ikikamni kukula seme kitu kama hiyo watu wanasema anga sikuizi kuna maugonjwa wa mob hizo za acid lifestyle diseases eh, zinaletwa na kansa una, una, una feel kama unaogopa juu ya kukula eh naogopa sana bwana sipendi sipendi hizo news zilikonga vichwa vya wanahabari Juu. <laughs> Hata huko Kibra tu. Unaona hizo ni vitu zimefanyika kwa ba, supermarket, si ndio? Yes. Kibra kwenyewe tulienda tukanunua hizi nini katakata. Yenye unapatanga katakata ya kuku, firikisi, unapata matumbo, mukongo. Unaona? Umekula hizo vitu zote. Hizo vitu unazipata, unanunua. Ukienda kupika zinatani pulu. <laughs> Sio tu huku juu kwa matuka kubwa. Na sawa. Pia huko ndani. Na sawa, ukishapika, yeah. umepika firigisi ikatan blue. Yeah. Wewe ufanya nini uki hapo mahali metan blue? Si unachukua unamwagia maumbo nje zinakula. Huwezi kula kitu kwa hiyo ni sumu. Hmm. Okay. Amo litani naweza kula. Hapana. Nilikuwa 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 natakiwa. Ikine 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 hapana hapana. Yes. Eh kama hiyo nyama kusema kweli umenunua kwa ile bucha huwa unanunua. Umeweka kwa kwa, kwa sufuria. Unapata maji imejaa na huku acha na, na nyama haikuwa mm. na maji. Ama pofu inasukuma kifuniko hivi kutoke kwa nini kwa. Wewe <laughs> kitu fanyika? Eh. Alafu uki, ukijaribu kuacha ile nyama ime, iko gumu ukiulisa ukiulisa unaambiwa hii ngombe unajua ilikuwa inajaa sana ni wakati wa kiagasi sasa unajua wakati oh, wa kiagasi ime hizi si kina ni sagrade si juu ni za nini sasa ukiambiwa vitu kama hizo unajua unajua tu utakuwa wewe ukijiambia kwamba hii ni nyama ni ngumu by default mm. yeah. tena wacha ni kuambia kitu moja point is here eh <laughs> nikaenda nikaweka kabushari tukashukua na njama mwingine hapo nyuma so, ulikuwa na bucha ripia nyuma ya mata tukaweka kabusha hivyo na kubuka kuna wakati ninunua nyama nasia na zaidika M- n- sikia mgumu msima na nikakuja nikahangi na ilikuwa tu sawa na kuambia ikifika jioni ilikuwa green ile nyama ilikuwa na transport tu ya green kashikwa hii nyama na ilikuwa fresh tu hivi na nilijua hakikisha sio ya fridge kwa nini iko green green kwa hata kukata si unakata na msumeno kwenye bonu maru inatoka vidudu sasa mimi nikachidwa hizi nyama ni nini? Na hiyo ni asara. Mimi nikaacha na unajua katika kwa, kwa sababu ya imani yangu, mimi sijui imani ya wengine ama kama ni wakolishi kama mimi sijui sijui kama wao wanahesabu kwa hiyo ndio tinu. So in swagi ni kama vile mimi nilisoma ama na imani yangu hiyo si wespe ya mtu. Mimi chenye naweza advise watu ndio wewe. Ukitaka nyama ya ngombe, waenda tu ununue nyama ya ngombe. Ununue ngombe na kama uwezi kujichinjia. Wache. 
Pepa ngombe nye upeleke kwa kichinjio. Uambie ni chinjie ni ngombe, ni meshindwa kuchinja. Wakisha kuchinjia, pepa nyama yako. Enda na nyumbani, anza kukula pole pole, hata kama ni kuweka kwa fridge mahali. Chu kitekemea zenye sisha chinjua. Utaona mambo. Na sasa shida ya hiyo ni, hmm. <coughs> nyama ya fridge ikona shida. Ukweli uongo, sindi ukweli? Ngombe mzima, wewe uneza kula ngombe mzima na shiku ngapi? Suna kawana na majirani, kwani wewe tu utakula ngombe peke. <laughs> Suma tu... wae kula tu nyama kuota kwa ploti, baka jirani ya kakuliza. Ai, hata kipande tu wezi ni zaidi. Lakini <laughs> 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 sasa, yeah. sasa, shida, shida ni, yeah. taimtebo yako ni meona unakulanga nyama Wednesday. Yeah. Sindi yo? Yeah. Ukikula nyama Wednesday yeah. na ukona ngombe mzima. Mm. Ni Wednesday ngapi unaweza gawana na watu nyama before umalize ngombe mzima ama kila Wednesday utakuona nuru ngombe ingine <laughs> <laughs> Exactly <laughs> uh, Jacob yes. unadhani solution ya hii kitu ni gani Mwenzangu ameongea kitu ya maana Yes Na ni, unajua tu, the more tunaongea ndio nakuambia ndio imani yangu ina, inashika moto yes. <laughs> Mkurino samani yes. hage kula nyama alikuwa kama Muislamu kabisa hage kula nyama kama hajajishijia yes. kwa hivyo mimi naona kwamba Imani sasa kama kama kwa gumi na furahia imani irui ipata moto sana hiyo nyama iwekwe nini sana ndio watu wapata nini nyama Ata, iwekwe uoga sasa uoga ndio sasa huyu mtu apata ile imani yake ime, imesimama imara sababu watu walituigilia sana e, muko hivi e, muko hivi lakini kumbe ni Mungu alikuwa ameongea alikuwa anaona tu kutasariwa wengine vichu wagumu waya hata ukimwambia kitu hata sikia mm. eh okay. anataka nyama ifure hivi ndio ikue at least ikue migi ndio apate nini sababu siku simefika ya kwaba sile eti watu watakuwa watu wamejipenda wenye kupenda pesa sana na wenye tamaa aina mingi yes. sawa so, shida shida kwa hivyo ni tamaa in general yeah, exactly na hali ya hii tumapenda so in the meantime watu wasikule nyama kama ujui imechinjiwa wapi mm. hakuna haja kukula <laughs> utakanja hata zile ah. zitenda wili za kwanza na watoto wakifanya ati nyama 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 washa wazifanyi hizo vitu lakini haja lakini naona tu kutatokesea kitu sinaona hasa imetokesea mkulima yade akajishijia kuku yake huko ndio isidungwe nyama so, yake isivanywe nini kama kana pereka, kama anapeleka kwa fridge asiweke dawa hangi tu pale kwa 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 kakiubu tu hivi na ashushie kachufi tu hivi yeah, sio hiyo okay. kitu umehitaji sodium metabai sulfide metabai hiyo yeah. metabai lakini <laughs> sasa <laughs> hapo <laughs> na na watu lazima lazima ushike na watu wasikue washoyo kama vile huyu alikuwa na point hapo yes. watu wasikue washoyo anajua tu ni kichijaka kabusi siku tatu nitaita fulani 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 hii nyama tukure hii iishe finish nyama hiyo mambo ya kununua huko Wapi makofi ya Smart Joker and Jacob David Waibata. Asanteni sana. Asanteni sana. Asanteni sana. Karibuni tena na tena. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. King Ori. Yeah.